today on Zoom. On your mark. Get, Get set, set. Go. go. Oh, and the middle can is in the lead. <laughs> this is my invention, the tennis ball pick em up, but now I'm going to show you how it looks. Abba, I look squat as Come on, Jessica's in the lead. Do it. But not by now, just relax too. Out and up. Put cinnamon into the melted butter. Put too much cinnamon. <laughs> for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Button for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And button for you. Thank you. Okay, okay guys, you ready? <sighs> on your mark. Get set. Go. Whoa, come on, come on, and Claudio is in the lead. On, and he's taking a big. Oh, Caroline oh, just dropped it. So did Claudio. It's okay. And Claudio. Oh, they're tied right now. Yeah, they're tied. They're tied. Oh, and Claudio just dropped his. Oh, and Caroline is taking a lead. Oh, and Caroline just dropped it. Oh, you're doing it. Put it back on. Put the back on. And Claudio is oh. walking. Oh, Claudio. And Caroline says, ah. Caroline just dropped both things out. I have like a foot more to go. And you can do it. Claudio Come is heading to the You can go. Claudio is heading to the way. It's taking. And Jessica took the way. It's taking the way. It's okay. You can do it. Just go slow. And they both just dropped their buttons. Go, Ray. Come on, Ray. You can do it. Now they're tied. Now they're tied. Now they're yeah, tied. On, this is a good run. Oh. Good job. Come on, come on. I just have two more. Oh, no. Come on, right and they're the tied right now in the yeah. same spot. Yeah. And Ray and Claudio yeah. win again. Yeah. Ray and Claudio win again. Oh, good no, game, guys. Good job, you guys. Good job, guys. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What do you think was the first word ever spoken? I think the first word ever spoken was I. Dada. Buga. Mine. Rock. <laughs> I think the first word ever spoken would be hi or something like that. Ugh. No. Baba. Family. Hello. I think the first word ever spoken was yes because they were trying to communicate. I think the first word ever spoken 
was no, because uh, someone did something wrong. Bam! Daddy. I think the first word was I. I think the first word was probably no. The first word I ever said was duh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cafe Zoom. Today I'm going to mix different ingredients with melted butter to make really funky popcorn. Our first recipe was sent in by Steve M. of Clark, New Jersey. It's called taco popcorn. Melt a half a stick of butter in the microwave for about 45 seconds. Make sure you use a microwave safe bowl because you can't have metal in the microwave. So you pour your butter on top of the popcorn. Sizzle. And then you want to mix it around. And you kind of want to be careful because popcorn could go all over the place. Okay. Then you take some taco seasoning and you sprinkle it on the top. You can use just a little bit of taco seasoning if you don't want it to be too spicy and a lot if you want it to be really spicy. I don't really like spicy foods that much. So I'll just put a little. I like. Okay. Hmm. Kind of. I don't really eat tacos that much, but as far as I know, it kind of takes tastes like taco. I like it. Our next recipe was sent in by Lauren E of Richardson, Texas. She calls it sugar and spice popcorn. Take your popcorn and your melted butter and you put a little sugar and cinnamon into the melted butter. You want to put, whoa, you want to put a little more sugar than you do cinnamon. Cinnamon. Whoa. Put too much cinnamon. <laughs> then you mix it around until the sugar dissolves a little. Okay. You pour it on top of the popcorn stuff. Uh-oh. I didn't mix too well. That's okay. And you stir it up. Oh, oh. Okay. Huh. Oh, I like that. It's very sugary. I like sugar. Our last recipe was sent in by Kathleen S. of Concord, Massachusetts. It's called maple popcorn. Mix maple syrup and melted butter together. Just put the maple syrup in, uh -oh. like that, stir it around. I like maple syrup too. You pour it on top of the popcorn and mix it around, of course. Okay. I like this one a lot. It tastes like caramel popcorn. And now you're all set for a night at the movies. and this is my butter corn. Hi. This is my invention, the 10 spot pickle wrapper. And I'm gonna show you how it works. But first, we're gonna play a little tennis. Since the tennis ball pickle upper works is hold the tennis ball pickle upper above the tennis balls, then push down on it and it sticks to the velcro inside. Come over to my house and I'll show you how to make a tennis ball pickle upper. This is what you need to make a tennis ball pickle upper. A ball container, some velcro, and some scissors. You need to take the end of the container off 
Make sure a grown up does that because it could be really dangerous. Then you measure it about halfway around the tube and then cut. Then do the same for another two pieces. Then you put the velcro on the container. And do it in the middle, then the end again, like that. Now comes the hard part. Put the velcro in the tube, measure it, then take it out and cut it. Put the velcro in, then you're gonna have to pull the paper through so that you could stick it on and do that on the other side of the tube. These three strips strap the tube to the tennis racket, just like that. Now let's try it out. by Kirst F. of Lincoln, Nebraska, Kendra's Bike. Kendra built a bicycle that had everything you'd need. It had an automatic dresser and a big screen TV. It had 57 waiters and 65 maids, 92 gorillas, and 13 parades. The only thing not practical about this machine, there were no pedals or not even an automatic seat. Cincinnati Jones, by kids at Westward Junior High, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Just when I thought I'd made it out of the temple alive, I started to get chased by this pile of mud. I never liked the desert sun. Always wanted to visit the Great Coliseum. Oh well, have to keep moving. Ah, uh, our nation's capital. The Eiffel Tower, so beautiful. Whoa, wish I could stay longer. Is it just me, or is there a wall blocking my... Oh, oh, this could be painful. Don't look, kids. It gets messy from here. Sir? Hello, sir. You dropped your wallet. Josh and Ben B. of Citrus Heights, California, said to these Fanny Dooleys. Fanny Dooley likes waffles, but doesn't like pancakes. Why do you think that is? Fanny Dooley likes boots, but doesn't like shoes. Why do you think that is? Fanny Dooley likes kisses, but doesn't like hugs. Why do you think that is? of South Yarmouth, Massachusetts, wrote to tell us about the time that she was given $9 to buy a CD that she was really excited about. But instead of buying the CD, she decided to give the money to a charity to help buy presents for other kids. Isn't that nice? That was wicked yeah. nice. Yeah. I, um, I, ha I did like a similar thing once. Um, when, I, when I saved up all my money and I was deciding what to do with it, I saw like, um, I guess it was like a commercial and I was like, 
like showing all these poor kids in those different countries. Like it just like all of a sudden hit me. I mean, like imagine just living like that yeah. with no mm -hmm. food, like hardly any food and like you're all cold, I guess. I don't know. It just seemed really bad. So I went to my local church and I put in like they have this box which they send to those Aww. countries and I put my money in there. Oh, that's really Aww. interesting. Yeah. One time I went to a nursing home and I like danced and we made crafts and I thought that was really nice because all the people like felt that they were, mm -hmm. you know, loved. There was this workshop and we built um a bench for the nursing home because they, they had these well it was a, a bench and then a coffee table because they had crates for the co for the so they can drink their coffee so we built oh, wow. and then then we painted it and all that's oh, nice. Oh, that's nice well speaking of um nursing home every other tuesday i have a half day and my drama program has a another program called the outreach program where it goes like to other people and we went to like um nursing home and um we spent our time there like our half day you know because half days we usually get out early but we spent our time and went there and made the the people happy and they always mm -hmm. loved to see us it was really fun that's really nice it's we nice also to make people feel happy it makes you feel it makes you feel good yeah i remember <laughs> one time i was on a bus and there was a kid sitting there and he was sitting all alone he was crying Aww. and i felt really bad and i had no clue who he was but i went up to him and i put my hand on his shoulder and i was like hey are you okay and he was like and i was like do you need anything he was like i was like well if you have anything to say you can just come up to me anytime and tell me he goes okay and he got all happy it's so, so nice sweet. sometimes when you do stuff that makes people happy it just feels good inside you right. yeah. you just so. feel like you've done something out of ordinary you feel like mm -hmm. you feel like generous and right. nice and it just makes you good. feel better yeah. about yeah. it. It's really good. Here's a zinger from Maeve and Marion of Shrewsbury, New Jersey. Okay, Lisa, this is how this works. First, make a fist with the hand that you don't write with. Then move your index finger out, in, up, in, and Keep doing this. Then with the other hand that you write with, mm -hmm. write your name. Okay. And see what happens. Got to keep moving your finger. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's hard. I'm going to try it now. Okay. Let's see. Out and up. Back. <laughs> uh, I can only do one or the other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like you can't control yourself. Yeah, I thought I'd I'll be able to again. do it. I'm going to see how fast I can do it. I can't do it fast because I can't continue this motion. <laughs> Zoom do. Okay, on your mark. Get Next set. set. Go. Go. Woohoo! Oh, That's it. awesome! That's cool! G of St. Louis, Missouri, sent us instructions to make this really cool can car. Here's what you'll need. A coffee can, two coffee can lids, rubber bands, masking tape, a bead, pencil, paper clips, and liquid soap. The first thing you need to do is take your coffee can and cut off both ends so you can stick your arm through. But be sure you ask an adult for help because the edge might be sharp. Okay. Okay. Then you punch a hole through both both of the coffee can lids large enough so that a rubber band can fit through it. Okay. Okay. Should be it. 
Then you take one of your lids and a rubber band. I think I'll take this rubber band and just stick the rubber band through the hole like this. And then you take a paper clip and you sort of wrap it around the paper clip like this. Just, it's kind of hard. Just wrap it around twice. Okay. So it looks like this. Okay? Then take a piece of tape and just secure it in its place by putting it over the paper clip. Okay? No. Then what you would do is you would put the lid on. Tight. Take your rubber band and It's hard. Here. Oh. Okay. Then you take your beads and it's hard. Can you hold it? Yep. Okay. Uh -huh. Then you take your beads and you put it through. So you you put it through the rubber band so oh, that the wait. bead is what on the outside of the rubber band. Hold that. It's really hard, so I think we'll just like take a paper clip and unfold it like this. I got one. This is fine. And kind of like stick it through. Done. Okay, put the rubber band on top of the paper clip and pull it through. After you put your beads through, take your pencil and slip it in the loop. So it looks like this. What? You're not done yet. Nope. Then you take some liquid soap and just put some on the edge and kind of spread it around the end. This is so when the pencil is spinning, it cuts down friction and it makes the pencil turn faster. It's okay, just like kind of. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. decide. All right. Now you wind. You want to keep winding it until. But don't wind it too much because the rubber band might snap. I think that's about enough. Okay. I have the first can. And I've got the one we just built. Okay. On your mark. Get set. Go! Yes! Yeah! Good job. Good job! You too? Thanks. What do you think we can do to make it go faster? Maybe we can change one variable. Like, well, maybe using a bigger size can. Yeah, because then it would be, it would go faster. Yeah, and you know how it takes turns? Mm -hmm. It'll take a bigger turn, and it'll go faster and even farther. That's awesome, that's a great idea. Thanks. Okay, well, let's go okay. build it. Linda G. of Franklin, Massachusetts, nominated Timothy and Brian G. for today's Zuma Cum Laude. On their walk to school, Timothy and Brian noticed a lot of trash. Instead of just looking at it every day, they decided to clean it up. They hope that more kids do the same to keep our environment clean. Excellent job, Timothy and Brian. You'll be receiving your Zuma Cum Laude certificate in the mail. Here's the second can. And here's Big Billy Bubba. The big can. Okay. <laughs> you ready? Okay. On your mark. mark. Get, Get set, set. Go. Oh, and the middle can is in the lead. <laughs> the middle can, the middle can was fast. I think the, the big can was slower than all of them. Yeah. Now it's time for you to experiment. Think of a question that you want answered. Like... What would happen with a different size rubber band? Test it out. Be sure to write down what you thought was going to happen and what actually happened. And when you're done, send your reports to Zoom. <laughs> the Red Bench by Hannah M. of Cypress, California.
What you doing? Sitting on a red bench. Can I join? Sure. What you doing? Sitting, Sitting on, a red, on a red bench. Can I join? Sure. sure. What you doing? Sitting on a red bench. Can I join? Sure. What you doing? Sitting on a red bench. Can, Can we, we join you? Sure. What you doing? Sitting on a red bench. You mean the one my dad moved over there? Huh? Oh! Check it out. Check it out. We can't do it on our own. We need you to make it known. That everything you see right here can only be on Zoom because of every one of you. Who? You. Feed us. A recipe. Teach us. Biology. How to jump. Show the trick or riddle or some poetry. So if you want to see it, Submissions become the property of Zoom and will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, and print materials, and in other Zoom ways. So, send it to Zoom. Zoom. What's the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you? The most embarrassing thing that ever happened to me was when I called a stranger my mom. The most embarrassing thing that happened to me was my next door neighbor is my friend, and when I went over to his house, he had the music on. And so we started dancing, and when I hit a split, my pants ripped. <laughs> Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. And by... Contributions to your PBS station. From viewers like you. Thanks! A production of WGBH Boston.